Hi everybody, thank you for following my YouTube channel. This is Shane Lambert and I'm looking at the NFL injury reports for the upcoming games on Sunday. Uh, this will be week five. Um, the first game I'm going to look at in this video is the one between the New York Jets and the Minnesota Vikings. Now they're playing uh, overseas. Um, I think this is a London game. Yeah, it's coming from uh, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in London. It's a 7.30 a.m. start mountain time, which is 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, so it's uh, going to be one of your earlier ones. Uh, pardon me, the early one. It's, it's happening three and a half hours before the normal set of Sunday games. Um, Sunday early games. Minnesota's favored in this one by 2.5, negative 2.5. Um, they are... It's a neutral game, so this is a... <clears throat> There might be a home team by technical standards, but this is a neutral site game. Um, so looking at the injury report, the New York Jets listed six players on their injury report to start the week. Um, Morgan Moses, offensive lineman. Tyrone Smith, offensive lineman. Uh, linebacker C.J. Mosley. Uh, quarterback Aaron Rodgers started the week on the on the injury report, and Lecky Fatu, Elijah Vera Tucker, that's a defensive lineman and a guard. Um, <clears throat> Now, just because you started the week on the injury report doesn't mean you finished it there. So Aaron Rodgers was on with a knee injury. He was limited on Wednesday, but he was upgraded to full participant on Thursday and remained there on Friday. Uh, that means he's fully expected to play. Um, Morgan Moses, the offensive lineman, is out. CJ Mosley, linebacker, is doubtful. And uh, Lecky Fatu, the defensive lineman, is doubtful. Those are um, their playing statuses as of Friday after practice. Um, they won't update the injury report again. For a Sunday game, it's just Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There might be news updates on Saturday that you can still follow. Um, so taking a look at the Jets. So Morgan Moses, their offensive lineman, he plays right tackle. Um, he was a starter. So they're, they're, that's not bad, though. They're only down one starter. Um, you see a lot worse injury reports going into week five. Um, CJ Mosley is a starter, uh, but um, on defense, but he's doubtful, meaning he probably won't play. <laughs> it's not a bad injury report for the Jets, uh, <clears throat> particularly because Aaron Rodgers improved during the week. Um, the Minnesota Vikings half of the injury report. <clears throat> They listed eight players on their injury report. Uh, they did put Sam Darnold on it, but he was a full participant in practice as early as Wednesday. They were monitoring a knee injury. Uh, so Josh Oliver's on the report, Brandon Powell, uh, Caleb Evans, Ivan Pace Jr., TJ Hawkinson, Harris, Harrison Smith, and Stephon Gilmore. Um, so Hawkinson is out. So that's a, that's a big loss for them to lose their, their, their tight end. Um, Stefan Gilbor is their cornerback. Um, it says that it's not injury related, but they're resting him. Um, he did not participate in practice, it looks like, on Friday. So th that's um, nothing. The, 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 he's a, one of the a veteran player. You know, people are remember, remember him with um, the New England Patriots. Uh, when it's DMP due to um, rest, that's usually, you know, they know they're dealing with an older player or there's something like that going on and, and they, they just gave them the day off to help them uh, be at 100%. Um, Hawkinson's a big deal, I think. Um, that's, we'll take a look at the, the Vikings who are 4 0. Um, let's see. So there was some hopes that he would be debuting here, uh, but that's not going to happen. He, uh, he has not appeared in a game so far this season. Um, so, you know, I think they, if you were a Minnesota fan, you would want him back, uh, of course, but uh, you're 4-0 without him, so it's not, it's not looking like a big, huge deal here. Um, it's not a bad injury report for either team now that I look at it. Um, The, the biggest news from the injury report is that the, the Jets are going to be missing one of their linemen, and Aaron Rodgers had a knee injury that limited him to start the week, um, whether that affects his practicing um, on... I would say that that's actually a minor detail that's worth noting, uh, just because the, 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 the Jets have not been on song offensively at all, right? Uh, just the nine points in the week prior. Um, it's not everything. Uh, but uh, it, I would have preferred to have seen three full days of practice, I think. But it's not, uh, it's not the, 
this, this game doesn't appear to be about the injury report. Um, it, to me, it's more just about the fact that Minnesota is 4-0 uh, and uh, flying below the radar still a little bit while the Jets, a bit more was expected out of them, and they're only 2-2. Two and two. Um, So uh, that, that's what I think the game's about. I think that Minnesota should be more like um, negative 5.5 as opposed to negative 2.5, so I'd be, I'd be looking at them to cover that spread.